Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's a Soul Family Read for the 29th of November, 2021. Or as I like to call it, holy fuck, it's go time. <laughs> it's go time. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm not afraid of it anymore. I swear to God, guys, I, I, I think it's going to be all right. It's like crazy. It's like probably most people, if you're not like really spiritual and very, you know, kind of like a Piscean, maybe. I mean, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> but I can feel it changing. And I think um, I, I, it's, it's Uranus, man, you know. So what's that? It's erratic pulses. It's, you know, it's the fool card. It's um, the tower. It's like it brings shit down. And it always, like you can't. It's a higher mind. Most of us, we'd never go see it coming. Even if, unfortunately, the old me, and we're going from the old me to the new me, that's just a huge thing, big new cycle. We, well, Whatever we've gotten from the past, we're gathering it all together. That's as simple as that. And now we're going forward with the, <clears throat> a little bit, at least, all of us, you know, different, at least different, if not, you could say, possibly, you know, better or higher vibrational energy. Just basically because we've been living, and uh, I think if you're watching this reading, you've been following some kind of a spiritual path. And um, I pre-shuffled, but um, it's, I can't tell you how I feel today. It's so weird. It's good. It's like a lot better than I have in a while. But I'm thinking of the divine masculine and the divine feminine, you know, the yin, the yang, the positive, the negative. And if you're a woman and say you hate men, you know, I'm sorry to tell you, I mean, you, anybody watching this reading, not to condescend, you'd know there's divine masculine and all of us divine feminine and all of us. You can't get out of it, you know? It's like someone says, well, I hate, you know, pick a sign. I hate Sam, I'm sad. I hate Sagittarius, fucking serious. <laughs> you know, well, I hate to tell you, you got Sagittarius in you, so you're kind of saying you're hating us. Uh, oop, I saw the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Speaking of Sagittarius, temperance, holy shit. Thank you, Spirit. That's the kind of things keep happening. Um, so, yeah, you just pick a Sagittarius and shit all over them. Well, I mean, this is why, you know, we're all connected. It's kind of a course of lesson, you know. So, um, I carry a lot of divine feminine energy, and I've been in it uh, for really strong. And I, I manifest it. I, I, um, I, I, it's, it's, I know it's in me, but, like, um, I will start doing incantations poetry and mostly if I post it I don't know mo I don't know if there's hardly anybody really understands but it it's just how I manifest like my own state of being <clears throat> and I can feel now that it's time for the divine masculine to rise up and this is you know not that's what I'm trying to say yin yang positive negative it, this is not about toxic masculinity and the love of God, and I think people watching this get that, but that's I'm not like talking about that. And for me, it's a time to take action. This is the thing about this soul family read, I'm thinking if you're watching this, you kind of relate to me because there's a soul family, and I probably then I probably relate to you. So we may even have similar astrological uh, aspects. You know, the sun is not everything. I have a Cancer moon. I have a Virgo rising. I have a Venus and Scorpio. It's very powerful in my chart. Mars and Sagittarius, Mercury and Sagittarius, Jupiter along with the Sun. So I got a lot of Sag. It's in the fourth house, which is Cancer, which is where my moon is. So my moon has a lot of power. <laughs> but it's just time. I, I always think, I guess I'll put a link. Um, I was, I've been a lot lately listening to this one song, Pushing Back. And it's not normally like what I would listen to, but music is part of my manifestation for years. And when I use music for manifestation, it's very good to be alone because I've listened to songs uh, damn near all day, over and over. And I don't know, it's when I want to really get something. It's when, as a Sagittarius, I go, okay, I need to, I need this. And it's good. And it's like, it's sort of like a brainwashing. I don't know how to put it other than that. I mean, you listen to anything over and over for hours. Uh, but it's literally what I, what I need and what I do. And so, uh, before this reading, I listened twice to this as I'm shuffling, and I maybe find this ironic given the nature of this song, which is back. <clears throat> uh, I'm praying in the name of light and love, only so I serve the greatest good spirit. Guide me, protect me, give me strength. 
you know. And as I'm shuffling, you know, I'm praying, I'm surrounded by light and love, always, and the greatest good. And, so, and I'm just visualizing light and love around me, around this house, around everyone in it. Um, but what I need now is to call upon the divine masculine energy. And I need to stand up, you know, I, metaphorically speaking, you know, on, my, on the ground. And I've kind of just laid there, basically, uh, and done what I could, you know, knowing that I just don't have the energy. But it's coming. And I, what I'm saying, this is a uh, this is a soul family read. If it's coming for me, guys, it's coming for you. So that could be nice. I believe me, kind of say, yeah, it's coming. It's here. It's been here. You could say, hey, I'm starting to feel it. Hey, I hope the fuck it comes. But if you're in the hope the fuck it comes uh, mode, then it's coming this month, I swear to God. And this is 8-8 Lionsgate stuff, too. I think a lot of manifestations are popping. And, you know, it's just like, you know, maybe we don't get the manifestation we wanted. Or if you don't manifest, this is just a time when things come in that we draw in with our spiritual path and needs and, and our emotion our emotional tone of the last few years or something that draws in energy um let's just say kind of randomly uh really for our greatest good often to our mayhem though personally uh, now if once we begin to manifest now we're taking kind of some control over that brings in a whole another karmic level but i'm ready to do it it's like i gotta be honest i'm a little bit spiritually speaking my sense is like I'm really with Mars and we are just fucking ready to punch it out, man. It's like, it's it's go time, go time, you know. And um, I'm tired of being on the ground. I'm a Sagittarius. I want to burn. What I keep thinking and what I keep hearing is just burn. It's your, it's your fire, David. Just burn, burn. People don't dig it and get the fuck back. So... As I do the reading today, which apparently <laughs> the Sagittarius card of temperance is on the bottom. It is Sagittarius season. The uh, new moon eclipse is happening on the 4th. And you can YouTube or Google. It's um, it's amazing. It's not just any new moon. And, and um, I think... Um, um, so this whole week is kind of going to be a theme for me. Definitely in the soul family read. And um, so today it's kind of it'll be a Monday one to get kind of a general read as to where we're at. I kind of take this as being at the bottom of the deck, really, that we're in sync with the energy. Because energy's in Sag, and there's a lot of energy elsewhere, but uh, it's where the sun is. Um, and the sun today and Mercury and Vesta all conjunct yesterday, today still, day before, really. It, that's really powerful energy. Um, and so I feel like if you're watching this, tell me if you resonate right out of the shoot, it's like, you know, you're someone that's in sync with the energy. You're, so you'd be feeling it. You know, it's been hammer time for a lot of us. I do now believe it's ascension symptoms. And I'm starting to believe more and more that we will win this, basically. Um, it, things will turn for the benefit of humanity uh, over the next five years, which I think are going to be crucial. So I feel more positive than ever, you know. The devil. That's where we're at now. In and around manifestation and spirituality. What a uh, contrast. Because literally temperance is also, by the way, the angel. You know, being balanced. Everything being okay. Being divinely protected. And I feel divinely protected right now. The devil. Get thee back, devil. I'm going to go Capricorn on that. I think today, Pluto moves to 25 degrees. That's kind of a big fucking deal. Pluto is so slow. And what I'm looking at this devil's face. You know, I know it's Capricorn card. Pluto's in Capricorn. And I've always associated the devil with Plutonic and Scorpionic energies. Not just the death card. For me. But... Sometimes, it's like uh, if Freud once uh, said, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. You know, a little ironic, considering he died from lip cancer and had the mama complex. And, but anyway, um, this could sometimes this could just be Capricorn. And whenever we show up in our own reading, a very powerful Capricorn uh, Saturn uh, placement, 
um, but Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know, Capricorn dominant personality, then this makes this very much just about you personally, which kind of is anyway. <clears throat> I don't really contend this is kind of a relationship read. So the magician, now this is what's blocking us. Manifestation, that's manifestation, that's Mercury. Again, today Mercury's conjunct the sun. Um, wow, I'm getting a really heavy feeling. Um, like right now today, if you're watching this, it's like uh, when I keep saying it's go time, it's like I'm really getting that feeling like we got to keep in mind that intentions have become like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung. So that's, I think, what that is. Wow. And if the manifestation, this is like being reversed, the magician reversed, if it's not coming, and uh, that's what this is all about. And here we are with this, uh, right, I mean, this very week, things are really shifting. And I mean, by the eclipse, I mean, by the solstice, certainly. My birthday's right at the Galactic Center. Uh, that's just something, but... Uh, uh, when the sun crosses the galactic center, but then, you know, um, it's just going to be uh, Sagittarius um, right up until the eclipse, and then it goes into what? Uh, Capricorn. So I think what I'm seeing is a delay in our manifestation. Um, really until Capricorn and I, I really don't want to say Capricorn season I kind of want to say like on this solstice like right as it shifts into Capricorn like zero degrees Capricorn that's when we would see this manifestation come in and I you know right now I'm thinking in my head um, I almost know where Saturn will be but maybe uh, maybe I'll put that in the, in the description but if you know anything about astrology, look at the solstice of 21st of December and see where your Saturn is by degree. And that's going to have some significance in this, in terms of the manifestation, you know. Um, and this could be the kind of gift that comes from Saturn now, which rules Capricorn, um, is a big gift. And it's something long term. It's like it gives you a washing machine. <laughs> refrigerator, you know, something that's going to last and has real value, solid and helpful for your life. You know, it's not going to give you like a two dozen roses. Um, and I got the feeling with temperance, what's temperance? Patience. It's just living and kind of a walk away. I talk about in terms of manifestation, you know, putting the manifestation out there and kind of removing ourselves from it emotionally just living our lives and uh, focusing on us living our lives and you know also having respect for that manifestation clarity about it and that's temperance just being able to do that just being able to flow um it's a little bit of a struggle i feel it it's like uh the holds that the past had over us that were toxic uh, patterns behaviors uh, mental patterns for me a lot um still clinging on in the magician being reversed it's like uh the manifestors like you see that look at that wand imagine that wand and he's just going come 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 on, come on. <laughs> not working what the hell's wrong with this thing come on come on come on come on yeah that's kind of the energy and overall energy is like of the angels and our guides who've got their wings around us and it's bright white light is why they call it you know angels you know because it's like and uh, you know, and they're just saying it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I think it's like it's it's go time, it's go time. The energy is big time shifting. Maybe this very week might be just real, like, and I mean, you know, it's gonna be a global. It's gonna. I hate to go there with the, you know, but there's gonna be a universal element to it too. So we're gonna see things happening in the world. Now this is very interesting. This is advice from spirit. And this is kind of the most important card in this reading to me, um, because whenever it's advice from spirit, then I, I sit up and listen. Um, and I, boy, I love this Eight of Cups, though. It really expresses the feeling of it. 
Um, and I think, guys, the advice from Spirit, again, would imagine that our guides or angels over us with their wings are just saying, come on, it's okay, it's going to be okay, come on, you're almost there, come on, hang in there. You know, don't cook off, don't cook off, don't let your head explode. And, you know, that's what's over us with temperance. And they're advising, you know, just let it all go, let it all go. It's just someone, you're just crying, someone's hugging you, and they're like, go ahead, get it out, it's okay, it's okay to cry, it's okay, let it go. And you're just getting it all out, getting it all out, getting it all out. And that's good. That's the advice. Let it all go. Let it all go. And it's deep emotional stuff. There's all kind of stuff going on in astrology right now. And at my personal level, all around Charon, Saturn. Oh, guys, in the tower. Now, this is the most beautiful tower I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. I don't know how many readings I've done. It, this is like, this is like, I swear to God, I'm going to make this analogy. This is like God parting the river for Moses. God parts the water for Moses so that they can walk right through the Israelites, right? So that's the energy of this. This is a miracle. I, I, God, I, always, I always go with the military. I was such a, I was so not now, but I was always in the military in past lives, it seems, you know. But it's like, you know, the artillery or an airstrike coming in and just taking out everything right in front of you. And you're just hunkered down your foxhole, and as soon as it ends and the shrapnel clears, I mean, you're up and off, right? Because the way's been cleared, there's been a path cleared. And with the tower, I think it's something powerful, powerful, man. Powerful, like noticeable. Like, you know, if you're wondering, like, God, if you're there, would you please help me? Boom, boom. <laughs> it's like, you know, something's in your way, and lightning strikes it, and it's gone. And you're going, okay. God, thanks. We got this. I had this really powerful reading. There's an agitation. There's like a feeling of spirit just holding on, holding on. I, I, I do an analogy of a plane. I feel like I'm in this plane. It's being held together with duct tape and wire and spit and glue. And we're just trying to, I know we're almost there. We're almost there. We got to keep it in the air. And I'm like, don't be afraid, man. We made it this far, you know, because I'm the captain. I got to keep the crew, you know, cool. You know, everything's going to be cool. Everybody's like, the prints rattling and things are falling off, you know. And I feel like that's the energy. But you know what? It feels kind of good. It feels right. It feels right. It's like, it feels like we're doing absolutely the right thing. It's just not really comfortable. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. I mean, think of any uh, social media to you know, share this on. It might uh, you think be helpful. Please do. And comments help. I appreciate it. Do like and please subscribe if you haven't. And hit the bell.